What I love about big breasts is not just the visual, it's also the tactile, the way it feels when you're making love to a woman, it's, it's the attention that she gets, I have to admit that, and it's a, it's a feeling of richness that there's an abundance that uh, life is good. Most men might expect a slap in the face if they ask their wife or girlfriend to get a boob job. But Ivan Lacasque loves big busts so much, he's managed to convince four partners to have their breasts enlarged, and has now written a book teaching men his technique. I'm pretty convinced that this is a very deep, primordial, profound thing for, for men. It's not just a please do this for me, but it's a strategy for relationships. I just like to know that he loves me and that I fulfill his fantasies and I am all he wants. The 59-year-old has perfected his pitch over the years and has written a book with the help of girlfriend Victoria. I don't think the man is manipulative. I think women always have the right to choose whether they want to or not. I think it's wrong not to ponder to the men. You know, if their husbands prefer blondes, they, I think you should be blonde. If they like bigger breasts, why not give in to their fantasies, their desires? Victoria has had her bosom enhanced from 500cc to 1650cc over the course of their relationship. And Ivan is happy to admit he prefers the present day Victoria with her additional curves. When I look at this photo, I think, really cute young girl, but no boobs. <laughs> You would say, okay, I would have to use that manual on her. <laughs> I would say, probably. <laughs> Ivan has spent more than $20,000 on breast enhancements for his partners over the years, including 11000 on Victoria alone. Of course I pay for Victoria's breast augmentation because I'm the one deriving so much pleasure from it. Our relationship is awesome. It's like anything, it keeps on growing. <laughs> like my breast. <laughs> But Ivan's first attempt at trying to convince her partner to boost her bosom bombed spectacularly. With my first wife, we were both fairly young, and in the enthusiasm of newlyweds, she said, tell me what your fantasies are. Whatever they are, I'll, I'll do it. And so I immediately jumped through that opening and said, I'd like you to make your breasts bigger. And to my surprise, she was quite insulted and, <laughs> and it hurt her feelings. Yes. And you know, we both felt terrible it got me thinking that there must be a better way to, to talk about it. What would be a successful approach to it? Ivan's perfected method is now available in his manual, which has sold 3,500 copies around the world. And he claims only one customer has ever taken advantage of the money-back guarantee. Just this past weekend, um, there was a reader, he bought the manual on Saturday, and the next day, Sunday, I received an email from him, and it started up as saying, Holy balls, Ivan. 24 hours from getting the manual to my wife agreeing to get bigger breasts. He goes, I can't thank you enough, I owe you one. And I wrote back, no, you owe me two. Today, Ivan and Victoria are taken to the streets of Miami to try and spread the word. Yeah, I'll be comfortable using the techniques. Sounds like fun. The bigger, the better. <laughs> The how to. Is that you right there? Yes. <laughs> He's not even interested in the book. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm looking at the book's cover. <laughs> you can tell a book by its cover. And while some are keen to embrace the manual's ideas, not everyone is won over. It's a good book. It's a good book to me. Teach her. <laughs> if she doesn't want them, they shouldn't be suggesting them. I would be offended if I knew exactly what he was doing. If I didn't mm. pick up on it, I would not be offended. Okay, and if you found out after the fact, like after suddenly, then I would feel like, offended. There you are with a double D. Yeah, I'm like, okay, I'm not a piece of meat that you just need to add extra meat onto. It's a matter of respect. If a guy only goes by size of boots, that doesn't say much for what's in between the two years. And while some feel the manual is one-sided, Ivan is adamant that he would happily return the favor for Victoria. The woman turns around and says, okay, I'll do it, 
but I want you to get a penile enlargement. So I just warn the readers, guys, you better be ready for this question. You better know what, how you're going to react. And I'm glad she hasn't asked me to do something that would be like really strange for me, but I mean, it's hard to think what she would ask that I wouldn't do. Of course, I wouldn't. Inspired by the manual, Victoria has plans to go even bigger, and Ivan is struggling to conceal his excitement. And we've been talking about it for a while. And to be honest, I kind of feel like it's the, it's like the excitement over the arrival of a new baby in the family. I'm, it's always twins, though. It's always twins. <laughs>